in the last video, we had this situation where we have to buy a truck every three years because that's how long they last. And we were at first just expensing the truck. So it's $60,000 every three years. But it did, did, it did something very strange to our operating profit. It made it look like the years that we bought the truck that our business didn't do well. And then the other years, it did really well, even though this was a really consistent business. So what we hinted at at the last video is maybe we can do something called capitalizing the expense. We could capitalize the truck. So what we do is, instead of just saying that the truck is an expense, we say that we're buying an asset that has some useful life beyond the time that we're just expensing it. So what we do is, let's just put a balance sheet right here at the beginning of year one. So at the beginning of year one, this is our balance sheet. Balance sheet right over here. And we're, by capitalizing a truck, we're essentially saying we're going to spend $60,000. Let's say we started with $60,000 in cash. We use that $60,000 in cash to buy a truck. So on our balance sheet, we now have only one asset called a truck. Let me do it this way. So in the asset category, we have a truck. And we are saying that right when it's brand new, it is worth $60,000. And we have no liabilities. So I'll just put a 0 there. And so our equity, our shareholder's equity, is 60,000 minus 0, which is 60,000. Our company is worth $60,000 on our books. And the way that we account for this truck that lasts three years is we say, well, look, this has a useful life of three years. Essentially, let's just spread that $60,000 out over the three years. Or another way to say it, let's say that this truck is costing us $20,000 a year. $20,000 a year. Or another way we can say that is that we can depreciate the value of the truck. And that depreciation is an expense. So depreciation of truck. So instead of just calling it truck, I'll call it the truck depreciation. And you could just really view this as a way of spreading out the cost of the truck. So in the first year, we're going to depreciate our truck by 20,000. We're going to say that it's one third, one third of its value has been served, or it's, or it's now $20,000 worth less at the end of the year than it was at the beginning. In the second year, 20,000. In the third year, 20,000. So we just really spread out the 60,000 over the life of the truck. And what that does is, is it makes our operating profit consistent, which it should be, because we have a very consistent business. 100 minus 50 minus 20, we make 30 in year one, 30 in year two, 30 in year three, and then we just keep going. These all become 20s. And so because we have such a consistent business, we make $30,000 the whole way through. Now, what does depreciation do to our balance sheet? So at the beginning of year one, we had a truck that was worth $60,000. If you forward to the end of year one, or at the beginning of year two, what's going to happen is because we're depreciating the value of the truck, on our balance sheet, we, we, we took a $20,000 depreciation expense. On our balance sheet, the value of the truck over the course of the year will go from $60,000 to 40000 to 40,000. And then at the end of year two, if we go another year forward, the value that we keep the trucks on the books for will go down to 20,000. And then at the end of year three, it's going to go down to zero. And then we go buy another truck, so we'll go back to 60,000. We'll keep going. But the cool thing about this is it makes the expense very consistent and actually more consistent with what our business is actually doing.